Hi guys and welcome back to this course on Windows 10. We're down in section 4 and in this module we're going to take a look at our power options and power saving settings. So it's really important if you're using a battery powered device like a laptop, it's really essential that you understand that you can extend the life of a laptop battery by using its power carefully. And an example of that would be switching off or reducing the brightness of your display. So in this module, I'm going to go through with you the options you have for power saving. We're going to talk a bit about power buttons. I'm going to show you power plans and also how you can access your advanced power settings. So let's start out with our options for power saving. Now, as I said, screen brightness will greatly affect the use of power. Even if your laptop is plugged in, it's still going to use electricity. So one way to reduce power is to adjust the brightness of your screen. Now I'm going to jump down to search and I'm going to type in the word power. Now you can see here it's brought up best match PowerPoint, which is probably the most obvious thing. It's an application I use all the time. But I don't want that. If I go down a little bit to settings, this is what I'm looking for, power and sleep settings. And I'm going to maximize that window. Now it's worth noting that we're going to get on to talking about something called a power plan. You, you can essentially set up a power plan and personalize or customize the options for each power setting. Now any changes we make in this screen just here aren't related to any kind of power plan. These are separate from that. But if you don't have a power plan set up on your laptop or your PC and you just want to make some minor changes, you can come into here. So you can see here power and sleep. The first thing we're discussing is screen. So it says on battery power. So when my laptop isn't plugged in, essentially turn the laptop off after and then you can select how many minutes. So currently I have mine set to four minutes. And then I have the option that when my laptop is plugged in, it's going to turn itself off after 10 minutes. So if I leave the room or go to bed and I forget to turn my laptop off, it's automatically going to turn itself off after 10 minutes if I have it plugged in. And again, we have similar options for sleep. So if you remember that sleep option means that your PC doesn't shut down completely. So if you have all of your applications open, it's not going to close them all down. The PC will just essentially go to sleep and work in a really low power mode. And all it means is that if you want to wake up your PC again, you just have to come back to your PC, press the space bar or wiggle your mouse around, log back in, and all of the applications will still be open in the background. So here I have my sleep settings. Again, on battery power, PC goes to sleep after four minutes. When plugged in, after 10 minutes. So come in here and adjust these settings accordingly. And finally at the bottom, I have an option here, network connection. So it says when my PC is asleep and on battery power, disconnect from the network. Now I don't like to do that. I like to have mine always connected to my Wi-Fi, So it's super quick for me to just get up and running with what I want to do. But again, that's personal preference. If you want to disconnect it from the network when it goes to sleep, then feel free to change that setting. Now, if we look over on the right hand side, you can see we have a related settings option just here and we have a link to additional power settings. So let's jump into here and see what we have. Now, you can see here, this is one of those options which jumps me to control panel. So my advanced power settings are not available in settings in Windows 10. They have to be accessed through control panel. And I have a few different options that I can change in here. So let's start at the top, choose what the power buttons do. So when we say power button, we're talking about basically the button you press to turn your PC or your laptop on or off. Now in here, this is where I can specify what happens when I press my power button. And a good portion of this really depends on the features of your device. And you can see here, there's some settings related to the power button and also to the sleep button. Now I have a power button, but I don't have a sleep button. And you can see that I've chosen this option here that when I press that power button, if my laptop's on battery, it goes to sleep. If it's plugged in, it goes to sleep. And also if I was to close the lid on my laptop, it also goes into sleep mode, whether I'm on battery power or plugged in. 
Now it is worth noting that you can change these. So for example, I might want to say that when I close the lid of my laptop, I want it to completely shut down. So I could select that if I wanted to, or I have the options of hibernate or do nothing. Now an option in here that we haven't really talked about too much is hibernate. And hibernate is important because unlike sleep, which still uses some power, this one doesn't, but it doesn't shut down either. So essentially what happens is your device stores its current state. And if it's hibernated, it will start more quickly than from cold. So if you use a laptop and you want to start it up very quickly, you might choose to hibernate rather than sleep. So I'm actually going to set this to hibernate on both of these for when I close the lid. And I'm going to say save changes. Now let's move down to this option here, creating a power plan. You can essentially create your own power plans in Windows 10. So I'm going to show you how you can go through and just create a very simple power plan. So you can see here it says start with an existing plan and give it a name. Now power plans, again, are very much based on your device. So some devices allow you to create a balanced power plan, a power saver, and a high performance power plan. Now my default in Windows 10 is balanced. And you can see here it says balanced, automatically balanced performance with energy consumption on capable hardware. So if I wanted to create a power plan, I could choose a name for my plan. So I'm going to call it Deb's plan. I'm going to click on next. So this is basically where I can define my power settings, my options, and implement my own power plan. So here it says turn off display after four minutes on battery and 10 minutes when plugged in. Put the computer to sleep after four minutes and 10 minutes. Now I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click on create. And you can see here, I now have two different power plans. So the first one is balanced, which is one of the defaults. Now notice that I don't have any other options for my power plan. As I said, some people have power saver and high performance. They have three power plans available within Windows 10. I only have one, so that's the only one I'm seeing down here. I now have the plan that I've just added. It's currently selected. And if I click on change plan settings, I can come in here and modify these two if I want to. And I can also change advanced power settings. Now in here, you'll see that it says select the power plan you want to customize, then choose settings that reflect how you want your computer to manage power. So I have only two options up here. I have balanced, which is one of the default ones, and I have my plan, which is currently the active plan. And I can come into here and I can make further customizations to my power plan. So for example, if I expand power buttons and lid, I can carry on expanding and I can change any of these options just by clicking and selecting something from the drop down menu. I can expand display. And I can also expand battery and I can choose what notifications I want to receive as well. So lots of different options for you to customize. Now I will say you don't have to use your own power plan. A lot of the time, the one that's installed, in my case, balanced will be sufficient. But if you're really conscious about how much power, how much energy you're using, it is worth maybe thinking about customizing your own power plan. Now, the final option I want to show you in here is again in settings, and we're going to jump down to battery. Now, it's worth noting that you can also get to this page very simply by clicking on the battery icon in the taskbar. So as I said, I'm using a laptop. It's currently plugged in and I can see that I am fully charged 100 percent. But if I click on battery and go to battery settings, it's going to jump me to the same page. So this is quite useful if you want to see which apps are affecting your battery life. You have a little link to do that. And I'm going to change this time period to one week. And what it's going to show me is which apps I've been using which are affecting my battery life most. And you can see here by far, Google Chrome is the application which is draining my battery more than anything else that I use. So that can be quite useful information to see. Also, if you scroll down, you can extend your battery life by limiting background activity and push notifications when your device is low on battery power.
Now I have this setting turned on so it automatically activates. So it says turn battery saver on automatically if my battery falls below and then I've selected 20%. And also I've got it to lower the screen brightness while in battery saver. So I basically have my system set up so that it's constantly adjusting settings for me in order to get the most out of my battery life. So definitely jump into your power and sleep settings and your battery settings and review those. That's it for this module. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now, to see the full seven and a half hour Windows 10 course, click over there. And click over there to watch all the videos in this Windows 10 playlist.